In today's video, we are going to be doing one final lesson that looks at if, else, and L if statements. Okay, so by now you've learned what those three different terms mean. In this video, it's just consolidating that knowledge to make you have a clearer understanding of how those features work in Python because you will see them pop up time and time again in your coding journey. So the app that we're making today is going to look at the user's age yet again. Okay, once the user types in their age, we're going to tell them if they're old enough to go driving or if they're old enough to go drinking alcohol. Okay, so what we need to be aware of is the laws in Australia. So you can't go driving before the age of 16 and you can't go drinking alcohol before the age of 18. So what we need to do in our app is set those two parameters first and we're going to make them into variables. So the first variable I'm going to put in is the driving age. So in a new document in Mew, I'm going to make a variable called driving age and I'm going to set that to 16. And then on the next line, I'm going to make another variable, very similar, called drinking age. And I'm going to set that to 18. Coming in below that, we are going to ask the user to enter their age into the computer. So let's use the input keyword so we can get some input from the user. And all it's going to say is enter your age. Don't forget to close your quotation marks and brackets at the end. Now when the user types in their age, we need to store that value in another variable. So let's go back to the start of the line and come up with a variable name. So I'm going to use the word age and that's going to be equal to whatever the user types in for their age. Now one final thing, you should be used to this by now, because we are going to be doing some calculations on this age, we need to convert it to an integer. So remember before the word input, just write in the three letter word int which stands for integer and put some brackets around that okay so whatever the user types in here will be converted into an integer which will allow us to perform mathematical calculations on the coming lines all right so let's start our if else and l if statements what we're going to do first of all is write in if the age of the user so that's coming from this line here we look at the age that they type in if it is less than the driving age, then we put a colon. We press enter and we tell the computer what we need it to do if the driver's age is less than the legal driving age, which is 16. So we simply write in print, you cannot drink or drive. Okay, we know they're below the age of 16. If they're going down this path here, so they obviously can't drink and they can't drive. Alright, so let's go to the next line, back to the start though, so just press backspace here, back at the start of the line here, and we're going to write in elif. Okay, and this time we're going to write elif, age, so if the user's age is greater than or equal to the drinking age, which is 18. We put a colon, don't forget that colon there, otherwise your app won't work. We go to the next line, so we're pressing enter, you'll see your mouse cursor is indented again, just showing we only run this code if the age is greater than or equal to 18. And we're going to print, running brackets and quotation marks, party time, you can drink and drive. But we better tell them, not at the same time. Alright, but you are legally allowed legally allowed to drink and um, you're legally allowed to drive as well. Alright, so that's got that one sorted. But then there's the in-between number. Okay, when you are 16 and 17, you're allowed to drive, but you're still not allowed to drink. Okay, so what we do there is simply write else. And a colon and on the next line we write print and tell them you can drive but you cannot drink yet close your quotation marks and your brackets and that should be program written so let's save it we'll go through it once we've saved it so what will we call this one we'll just call it you know, elif statements 2 
Okay, so the first of all, we just set our parameters into variables here. So the driving age is 16. That's the legal limit. The drinking age in Australia is 18. Okay, so we've set those values into those variables. The next variable we came up with is called age. And the way we got that variable is by asking the user to enter their age into the computer. So when they enter their number in, or enter their age in, we convert it to an integer, and we store it away in the variable age. We then go down a little bit further, and we call up that age that they just typed in. So if the user's age is less or younger than the driving age, which is 16, then we tell them, they can't drink or drive, they're just simply too young. Okay, if they're older than that though, then we skip that line. Okay, we pretend it's not even there and we come down to this next line and see if we meet this criteria. Where it says, if our age is greater than or equal to the drinking age. So if it's bigger than this number here, which is the drinking age, so if we're bigger than 18 or bigger, then we must be old enough to both drive and drink. So we just say party time, you can drink and drive, Obviously not at the same time. Then we come down to the next line here. So if we're not over 18, okay, but we are 16 or over, then we can write in here, you can drive, but you can't drink yet. Okay, so let's test it. We'll make sure it's all working okay. So if we enter that we're 12 years old, it says you cannot drink or drive. If we enter that we're 17, it says you can drive, but you can't drink yet. And if we say we're 21, it says party time, you can drink and drive. Let's just test the boundaries now. So let's test 16. We should be able to drive here. Yep, but we can't drink. Good. And let's test 18. Make sure it works. Yep. It says we can drink and we can drive. Yeah, beauty. So that means our app is working um, all well and good. So the last thing I'd probably recommend doing is start to get in the habit of adding comments to your code. So comments is just plain, simple English that the computer doesn't even read, but it explains to others who are reading your code what's going on. So up the top here, just um, set the parameters. which are the legal limits or legal age limits in Australia. Um, down here, we're going to ask the user how old they are. Now this first one simply says if they are younger than 16, this one here says if they are older or 18 or older. And this one here says if whoops if they are 16 or 17 years old. Alright, so remember with comments, the hashtag there just tells the computer skip over the rest of that line. I'm not gonna read it and just go straight to the next line and start processing that. All right, so that is how we create that app and add a few little comments to it to help make the reading of that code a bit easier.